Howdy everybody, Big Fatty Plus, and welcome back to the Big Man Plays, The Adventures of Bertram Fiddle, Episode 2. We last left off, we uh, left work after finishing our job, and um, we have a letter we have to deliver. Also, we can't go that way because he's blocking the way. Uh, um, let me see, let me check the map again. Shabby Lane, okay. I have a feeling we can't go down. Wait a minute. That cart's supposed to be stuck! And yeah, look at the. Uh, okay. I remember you! May I help you? No one touches my oranges cart but me. Okay, so we won't be going that way because his oranges. His orangey oranges are in the way, the dunce. Frickin' it. Oh. Ooh, let's take a look at the shop. You could tell a lot about a gentleman by the size of his hat. The tall of the hat, the small. Never mind. What a fine selection of beards and whiskers. The right beard makes an excellent personality substitute. Would you like to upgrade your facial hair? I am already more than sufficiently endowed in the moustache department. Thank you very much. She was just offering to offering Bertram you. This is a good, hefty cane, but I don't have need for such an instrument. Oh, you can hit people with it. That's what I think anyway. You can strike people with it. Come on. It will take me ages to mend these mancessories with needle and thread. So it would seem. I'm gonna slap the tar at you with your debt and your leave. Leave the store. You don't deserve no hat, no nothing. You caterpillar nose looking idiot. With your freaking stupid puns. I hope a bird poops on you, I swear to God. Okay, we have another. Rather bleak and sinister alley. I was gonna say dark alley, but okay. What else? What's in that window? Good evening, oh. Mom. Is it indeed? Be off with you. Idling is frowned upon round here. Idling is frowned Such upon. Such a sour attitude. She has a face like a squashed strawberry. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We have. Ooh, what's this? Really? Take a tramp. Have <laughs> missing. Have you seen this bird? Contact G Hardwood. <laughs> Mr. Lawrence is inexplicable ham in a tin. It's not like other meat. No. Oh. Oh. Okay. The Invisible Man. Okay. Come to pin by the sea. It's never dull. The hell is this now? Uh, let me walk away before hmm, I... I feel like the solution is staring right at me. Mrs. Dullsworth's cameras scrutinize the whole street. I doubt if anything gets past her watchful gaze. Are you certain she's the type of person who would sit in front of a security monitor all day? Probably. Probably. <laughs> okay, uh, I wanted you to look at that. I said look at the wires, you imbecilic fool! Not that thing! What's a bunch I have an appointment with Mrs. Dullsworth. I can't hear you. There must be a fault on the line. Can you hear me? Not if you can hear me. Yes, I can hear you. Very much so. Those vulgar messages are an eyesore. I'm not letting you in until I know who you are. Oh. Hmm. 
Oh, I see. All right. Well, uh, let's see. Bird. Just be up. Okay, we gotta have Bert. Bertram. I am. I am Bertram. Fig. What the fuck? Bird. Tram. Fig. Absolute gibberish. There. Bertram, Bertram Fiddle. Um. Bird, tram, fig, dull, absolute gibberish. No, 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 no. Uh, Bertram, Bertram. Okay, I gotta tell him my name. <laughs> okay, uh, Bertram. Wait, Bertham. Fid. Uh, the dole, and. Okay, it's got it. Ham. Dull. Absolute gibberish. Your mother's gibberish! Ma'am. 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 Could you? Ma'am, would you listen? Ham. Fig. Dull. Absolute gibberish. Your face is gibberish. Okay, it's supposed to be bird, burr. Bertram Fid. No, not. I forgot I had to do something else here. Oh, he runs now! Instead of just warping, he runs! Finally! Bertram can run! Also, here. We forgot to do something in here. Oh, look who's here. Werther! Full fee. Bertram, what are you doing? I've been working late, and Mrs. Dalsworth has asked me to do something. It's not an adventure, is it? You know I forbade you to have any adventurings. They are such a waste of money. Of course, my dear. I wouldn't dream of it. Besides, I am much better off since you started work at the soap factory. You are much better off. Yeah, you're much better off because you are ho! And I don't like this no way! Ma'am, do not sell to this woman. Ooh, pun cakes, my favorite. Ma'am, don't let him have any of those, anywho. Ooh, nice buns. I hate you. The whirling mechanism is second to none. Being a baker is a whiskey business. I'm far too busy whisking to talk. Is how I keep my batter so smooth and creamy. She's engrossed in a frenzy of master baking. Can I fiddle with this? Don't be twiddling nose. You'll ruin my bakery. Don't make me come over there. I want to, but I think I'm not supposed to do anything right now. Also, Wertha, I hate you. I should divorce you. It's a loveless marriage and you a hoe. You're cheating on me, probably. Should marry the frickin' uh, lady. Anyway, you will never believe just how dumb this was. I was spelling it right, but watch. Where is it? I am 
bird, tram, fig, dull. Ah, so you are Bertram Fiddle. Why didn't you say so? You're late. That way. See, the animation looks like the game is running in 60 FPS, but it says 30, so I know it's not. Yes, I know I'm late because I'm an imbecile. What? The Dullsworth estate. Looks like they've cleaned up with their soap business. They must have made a packet. I hope something kills you, Bertram. Good day, sir. That's a sizable hole you're digging. Yes, sir. Mom has instructed me to dig it. Though I don't know why. Splendid bloomage for this time of year. Indeed. I don't know what Mum uses for fertilizer, but they are always unseasonably hearty. Dead bodies. Dead bodies, probably. Hey, Squirrel, how you doing? Oh, God! Just wanted to say hello. Okay, fine. Whatever. Han, guardian of the forest. Can I, can I pet you, Squirrel? I like squirrels. Okay. Look at that! What a lovely sight. Don't be mistaken. Vermin is what that is. Now more than a rat with an exquisitely bushy tail. Always after me nuts. I wish I could be rid of the pescally thing. I've tried everything to catch it, but it's always too fast. Mm -hmm. Looks like Mrs. Dullsworth is waiting for me. Whatever. Get up there. How do you do, ma'am? You're late, Mr. Fiddle. I've been watching your dilly-dallyings. It is the sign of a simple mind. You were There was no dilly-dallying. That was top-quality investigative strolling you witnessed. The hell is with this picture right here? I mean, seriously. In fact, why is with every picture in this goddamn room? I oh. see everything, Mr. Fiddle. Everything. That's lovely. Oh. He has a weak mind, Mr. Fiddle, and is easily led astray. Lately, he has a crazy look in his eyes. I've seen it before, and know he is up to something. I only have his best interests at heart. I need to know what he is doing. I did find this letter in his safe. It would appear that your son is in love. Love? What does he want to be in love for? He tried that once before, and I had to put a stop to it. Oh. Well, that's a problem. I knew what she was planning, even if my Algernon didn't. Um, um, really? May I have a drink? I expect you want a cup of tea. Yes. It's cold, and very bitter. That's how I like it. You're a horrible old woman, aren't you? What, what lovely it? specimens! Why am I... Taxidermy still... is one of Algernon's hobbies. It takes his mind off things. Uh, oh. He so very rarely sits with me anymore. Yeah, because probably because you're insane. What are a you looking perfect at? Perfect view of the soap factory. I like to keep a close eye on my son. Recently, he has become even more feckless than usual. Mm hmm. She doesn't know that that's a fake thing right there. That's, yeah, that's completely fake there. Um. Yeah, she thinks he's still there, staring. He's not there, lady. Just so you know, he's not there. He left. Am I, am I done here? Am I, uh, am I done here? Get, I guess I'm, I'm done here. I'm just gonna leave. Okay. I'll yep. be off then. If I uncover any more news, I'll be sure to let you know. I will leave no stone unprobed. Make sure you do. I'm only trying to protect him, Mr. Fiddle. A mother is a boy's best friend, Mr. Fiddle. You crazy! You crazy lady. You dang crazy.
Okay, so let's see here. Uh, la 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 la. Uh, oh, oh! Goodness me! It's you! Yeah, I am. <laughs> I do. Oh, this motherfucker can jump. Uh oh. You should, you should sound the alarm. Oh my! Um, don't move, I'll get help. No, you're not, you're gonna How go after How did he him. jump that? I wouldn't believe such a feat was possible. There's no way that I can scale that. What do you mean there's no way you can scale that? Did you need to, you need to, what am I even? Oh, okay. Um, oh, of course you'd show up now. Well, 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 Fiddle, I must admit you had me fooled. I never would have suspected you were Jeff the Murderer. Sherlock, what are you doing here? I thought mm. you were on holiday. Hmm. I just got back, and it's lucky uh -huh. I did, you despicable fiend. But Sherlock, it wasn't me. How could you think that? Well, let me see. Let's look at the evidence. There's a dead body. And there's you. You're quite mistaken. I saw Jeff run off in that direction. It's a shame there aren't any witnesses to back up your ludicrous story. You, madam, did you see what happened? Indeed I did, Mr. Holmes. I heard a scream and looked out my window and saw that man standing over that poor dead lady. Well, thank you, nosy old crone. <laughs> That's all the proof we need. Oh, good lord! Sherlock, you can't honestly think it was Bertram. Look, murderous footprints leading right to that wall. Take him to Jail Street. Right you are, sir. But it wasn't me. I'm innocent. <laughs> Run. If I had a penny for every time I've heard that one, Fiddle. <laughs> Take him to jail. Run, Bertram, run! <laughs> Looks like you won't be winning any wages now, Fiddle. Something doesn't smell quite right, Sherlock. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Watson, you have to believe me. I'm not Jeff. I know, Bertram. I know. Send for Gavin. Tell him I need help. Of course. Hold tight, Bertie. Oh, shush, Watson. Shut up, Sherlock, you stupid schmuck! Chapter 2, A Wrongful Confinement. Welcome to your new home, you terrible, terrible man. i me, you oaf. Don't you know who I am? Jeff the murderer, by all accounts. Oh. Nonsense! I have been framed! I'm innocent! Oh, everyone who comes in here is innocent. Makes no difference to me. Of oh course my! It what shall I do? I've got to get out of here! Oh, boy. Well, let's take a look around. Mm-hmm. Oh! Ew! One toothbrush between the three of us? That's not very hygienic. What? We've been locked in here for a long time. There's some plumbing problems in this place. Oh, hey, Bug, how you doing? Yes, talk to the Bug first. What's that? Lurking in that hole. A blood-sucking crimson cockroach. Oh, lovely. So, sir, um, how, how are you? Um, hello, cellmate. What are you in for? My name is Walter, and my only crime is being an artiste. Ooh, it's quite harsh. I'll say, sitting in here, unable to paint, it's sapping me of my will to live. Without my paints, I'm nothing. Do not give up hope. Gavin, my one-eyed manservant, will help. Your positivity is upsetting me. Leave me to my gloom. Mr. Oh. Fidel. Oh, Gavin! Oh, are you over Oh, Gavin! Oh, there. Have you come to rescue me? Don't worry, sir. I'll get you out as soon as I can. If you have anything I can use, throw it through the window. What are you up to? I'm not going to let you do anything while I'm standing here. How about you go eat some meat pie, you fat oaf? Hit him. I'm watching you, Sonny. Nothing's going on around here while I'm on guard. 
I'm on high alert. I shan't desert my post. Don't try anything funny. I'm not in the mood. I missed afternoon nibbles today, and I'm a bit beckish. Well, that's more than enough uh, hint there for, um, yeah. I am innocent. I demand to be let out. You ain't going anywhere, you fiend. Here's your supper. Um, it's an empty plate. This gravy is a strange color. It really isn't to my palate. Mm hmm. Uh, excuse me. Don't sir. wake Shirley. Shirley? Okay. Well, what's with the bed here? This oh. blanket is rough as canvas. Oh, there's a crack. I can feel a faint draft through some of these cracks. This wall isn't as impenetrable as it looks. I wonder if I can tunnel out. You tunnel out? What with? And how will you stop the guard from seeing? Nothing is impossible if you use your head. I'm sure Gavin will have us out of here in a whir. Hmm. hmm. So. Oh. So. We're in prison. Thanks to the idiocy of Sherlock Domes. Yes, I said domes. Just the murderer has struck, struck again, and I need to get the heck out of here. How are we going to do that? Find out next time on The Big Man Plays, The Adventures of Bertram Fiddle. Today is Big Fatty Plus, sign off. And I'm just going to bet that Mr. Dollsworth is just really seeking, an old, uh, seeking a lady he's in love with, and that uh, the real culprit is Sherlock, the one murdering people, because Sherlock is the schmuck. The Sherlock! He already knows who it is and he's just telling them to go kill people so he can have something to investigate because he's a schmuck. Schmuck.